Hello, 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 and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin, known as the Dream Decipherer, and this is Dream Your Life, Live Your Dream Live, where we talk about all things dreams. Now, today I've started a little bit earlier because the clouds are looking very dark and heavy, um, and it's supposed to rain, so I'm hoping I can finish this <laughs> before the thunder and lightning actually begin. But today what we'll be looking at is the impact of social media and technology in the wider sense on uh, our dreams. Now, there has been plenty of research that looked at uh, social media and smartphones and how it's affected our, our habits, relationships, even the wiring of our brains and attention spans. And there are also studies that show how excessive use of these technologies is leading to poorer sleep. However, there's been very little research on how um, being constantly online has uh, maybe in altering the content as well as the quality of our dreams. Until recently, uh, a recent study that was performed that looked at um, social media um, links, links the use of social media with poor sleep quality and a higher incidence of nightmares. And <clears throat> a latest series of studies links uh, the use of social media by adolescents with very worrisome uh, psychological uh, and men other mental health symptoms, including higher incidences of suicide, depression, and other things. So um, this, partic this newest study lo also looks at the negative psychological toll that uh, these uses, the overuse of these technologies is having on our sleep disturbances and looking at p platforms such as TikTok, uh, Instagram, X, or Facebook, there are greater incidents of uh, depression, loneliness, and isolation, which can, with a higher risk of cyberbullying and suicide. And and this may be in part due to the content that was being shown online, seeing such as political infighting at, that's going on right now, bullying, um, distressing news, social comparisons, um, which are particularly impactful on younger people, which adds to emotional distress and which can lead to bad dreams. Now, um, there, these findings are consistent with other research that has been done around sleep uh, quality in relation to social me networking platforms and show that there, is, there really is a correlation between negative impacts on our overall health and overuse of social media. That's not to say that social media is, is necessarily a bad thing, but um, being on it day and night um, can have a negative impact on us. Um, now this recent study um, gives examples of commonly reported nightmares, um, which included conflicts with other social media users, disturbing news stories, doom scrolling, and being unable to re access one's social media accounts. People feel victimized, they feel helpless or out of control. And these are some of the things that are negatively impacting people in, their, um, in terms of their sleep with regard to social media. Now, um, this particular study that looked at, at social media and its impact on our sleep and dreams is based on the theory of the con continuity hypothesis of dreaming, which is a model that holds the view that what we experience during the day will show up at night um, in our dreams, um, which is, you know, uh, makes sense. I mean, the, what we dream is born out of the feelings and uh, activities that we have during the day. Um, generally, not always, but generally, and so whatever it is we're experiencing during the day is going to turn up in our dreams. Now, um, consistent with this model, people who focus on social media more, especially in an um, anxious or nervous or negative kind of way, 
um, would be expected to have more in the way of nightmares um, related to social media. And this is according to a dream and sleep researcher at Harvard Medical School by the name of Deidre Barrett. And also, who is also the former president of the International Association for the Study of Dreams. Now, this, uh, this particular study, which was done back in February of 2022 um, in Australia, looked at 595 adults who used social media um, in Iran and then completed uh, questionnaires afterwards. Now, 290 uh, of the participants were examined using various techniques to investigate um, the different possibilities and where the remaining participants were analyzed using um, other techniques to, to hone in exactly on what was happening in their sleep. Now, the research was, uh, was conducted by Flinders University and in Australia. And what the study highlighted uh, was that while Instagram was the most popular social media network um, among the participants of the study, um, at 87%, followed by Twitter and Facebook at 11 and 2% pers respectively. Now, um, the most prevalent nightmares that were reported included being unable to connect to social media sites um, and breaking connections with others using social media platforms, you know, um, dissing people, um, <laughs> out, um, outing people, whatever the case may be. Now, the, there was a correlation between the intensity or, or a frequency of use of social media um, and the amount of uh, nightmares actually reported. And the nightmares were associated with increased worry, reduced peace, nightmare distress, and poor sleep. Uh, so that the, there is a, a particularly high relationship between the intensity of how of the social media use and low emotional well-being you know that anxiety driven you know will people like me online do they like me do I get enough likes um, this is particularly uh, striking among younger people um, so uh, it really has a, a negative, in, can have a negative impact on people's well-being, um, you know, disturbing their peace of mind, increasing their levels of anxiety, and incidents of nightmares, as well as just poor sleep in general. Um, and just as a note, the uh, blue light from our phones disturbs, the reason why it, it creates uh, poor sleep is that the blue light emitted by uh, technology, I mean your smartphones, your TVs, whatever the case may be, um, disturbs the production of serotonin and melatonin, which are important sleep hormones. Uh, so even if they're, you're you know, not looking, actively looking at your phone, the fact that those, wa uh, those light waves are being emitted will actually disturb your sleep. So, to get back to the study, the key findings of the study included there was a higher incidence of social media related nightmares, um, that these effects of these nightmares lingered even after the person woke up with higher anxiety levels, less peace of mind, and poor sleep. Uh, so, and again, that was directly linked to how much time was actually spent using social media. Um, they've also found that the, the nightmares uh, mediated the relationship between social media use and negative mental health out outcomes. So it suggests that nightmares could be a pathway that leads to sleep difficulties of one kind or another. Um, the lead researcher uh, uh, Reza Shabahang uh, stated that the increasing dependency on technologies such as our AI or artificial intelligence and virtual reality will mean that dreams featuring technological and social media will become more frequent.
um, because we're, they're part of our daily lives and that daily lives will filter into our nighttime lives. So the, the information or the suggestion given by researchers around all of this is get off social media. Do not use it as much. Cut back on usage because it is um, not only cre leading to poorer sleep, but an in increased incidence of nightmare, increase of mental health issues as a result. So, um, you know, a lot of people like before they go to bed, like to go through their, their social media accounts and, and look at different things. And it's, it's suggested that maybe that's not such a good idea um, to do something that's, that's less stimulating to the brain, um, such as reading, you know, some, some quiet texts, listening to music, um, meditating, relaxation techniques, rather than stimulating the mind overly by use, um, going into your social media accounts. Something to think about, especially if you've been suffering with poor sleep. I've had clients who say, like, oh, you know, my sleep is terrible. I haven't had a good night's sleep in years. And the first thing I tell them is to take the phone and all that, tech te that technology out of their room, put it in the living room somewhere far away from their bedrooms because of the blue light from the technology um, and the constant pinging is going to keep you awake. I mean, that's just, and having done that, clients have found that for the first time in maybe years, they actually sleep properly. So that's something to seriously consider. So I hope that gives you some food for thought and makes you take a second look at your social media use and find and discover for yourself how you sleep when you, you're on social media on a regular basis and when you take a break um, and how that seems, what effect, if any, does that have on your sleep quality as well as what you're dreaming. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.